Now I may have over 500 mods installed for Skyrim and I've been playing the game for over a decade, but to date I've never tried Todd Howard's favourite follower mod. Now Todd Howard is the director of Bethesda Game Studio, and in a recent interview he actually revealed that he really liked the Khajiit follower mod, and he was most definitely referring to Inigo, who has over 7,000 voice lines of dialogue which makes him super immersive, and almost like having a real person along with you on your adventures, like he'll specifically whisper when you're sneaking, he has his own personality and comments on exactly what you're doing at different moments, but not in a repetitive way, in a very natural way. He also has a unique questline that you can unlock, and we'll be doing just that in today's video, because I love it as a content creator when the developers acknowledge the fans' work and passion that goes into it, and I feel like they're doing that more and more recently, so let's check out Todd Howard's favourite follower mod together. And this adventure begins all the way over in the east of the map, right here in Riften. But there is a small problem we need to take care of first. Dear Janissa. Can I help you? You were too vanilla and we must part ways. If you say so. Good luck out there. Uh, okay, thanks. Bye. Who's this guy? Need something. Dude, you look like a vampire. What? Yes. Okay, so we've got to head inside the city of Riften. Look how beautiful it is. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. 400 gold? Oh, it's already unlocked. Fully modded Riften looks marvelous. Look at this. Don't you dare. I do, I'm not interested in joining the Thieves Guild, my friend. We're going to avoid the markets and your people. We're going to head over to the prison, which is right at the back of the city. Look at this. There's a crane here. You can even see the mountains from the inside of the city, which is pretty awesome. They look highly textured too, which I love. If you guys want to download our mod list, there's a guide on how to automatically install it in the link below in the description. Oh, mate, even the, the gate's been transformed. We need to go to the prison, which I believe is just swiping at air, mate. The barracks. So I wasn't meant to come into the barracks, but if you look, like, all of the city guards are currently sleeping. Like, what's what's going on? <laughs> it's 1pm and everyone's asleep. All right, let's try the other prison door, which I was meant to go in. Hello there. Yes? Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Official business only. I have official business money. Sure. That'll do just fine. Go on ahead. Everyone in Riften is just constantly trying to scam me. Oh, what's That's this? What no. Crazy Khajiit. Important. The Crazy Khajiit in cell 1 is not to be disturbed. He paid us good money for that cage, so don't go bothering him. If he's still here in a month, I think we should enforce a little rent increase. Wait, what? So he's paying to be there? I doubt we'll get the chance though. You've all seen the way he looks. Won't be surprised if he tries to end his life soon. If you see him in a particularly fragile mood, get in there and stop him. He's been using the key we gave him, so if you need to get in there in a hurry, use the spare in the broken strongbox above the fireplace. A dead man can't pay rent. Warden Norton. Okay. This is like an unmarked quest as- Ooh, there's an elven mace. What? What's that doing here? So, oh, is this the fireplace? Okay. A broken strongbox with the cell key, which is good because this character that I've made has absolutely no lockpicking skill whatsoever. Oh, is that the Rift and Jail key? One second. That's pretty useful to have. There's even a coin purse. Okay, I'm not actually in jail. I should probably stop robbing the jail and find this cat's cell. It's a bit insulting to keep a fur rug on the wall like that though. Oh look, there's a shadow mark there. I made a video about shadow marks in the past, which I should re-watch because I don't remember what that one means. It probably means escape though, like a secret exit. Ah, oh, is this him? He looks very sorry for himself, doesn't he? He's just butt naked with loads of candles. Hello. Come to kill me at the last, have you? Thank the gods. I can bear the guilt no longer. Come to kill you? Excuse me? I know I must die. Beware, though. My newfound honor demands I defend myself. Newfound honor, eh? Do you know me? I am in no mood for jokes. Strike me down. Take your revenge. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Who are you? That's an interesting pose. 
Makes me feel quite uncomfortable. You don't remember? Uh, that is my fault also. I am your so-called friend Inigo. I was the one who killed you. I tried anyway. I am guilty. Kill me. You didn't do a very good job, did you? Why are you here? After I shot you, I finally realized my mistake and tried to turn myself in. Your body was gone. The guards did not believe me. They said I was wasting their time. I had to pay them to put me in this cell. It is where I belong. I needed to repent. I need to repent. The voice acting in this is incredibly good. And these dialogue options, actually interesting. If you thought I was dead, then why were you here waiting for me? I don't remember much, but it's clear you owe me. Come with me. I'm not the person you remember, but you look useful. No, let's go with the top option. I heard tales of a remarkable adventurer, both brave and resourceful, matching your description. I knew it was you. It had to be. I knew you would be coming for me, so I waited. Are you going to kill me or not? I should probably cut you out of your suspense. I don't even remember what happened, so what would I kill you for? I see that I must relive it again. Your memory is not what it was. We met on a job. What kind of job? The killing kind. We were hired by a lord called Dupin to kill his brothers. With them gone, Dupin would inherit a great fortune and promised us much gold in return. Do you remember none of this? That sounds like a good deal, I'm interested. Before we left, Dupin told me that if only one of us returned from our mission, that one would get the other's reward also. I was hooked on skooma at the time, and I had a bit of a debt problem. So... You tried to kill me for your half of the reward? I am now angered. I no longer want to be your friend, Ingo. I tried. That is what matters. It was not an easy choice. We only knew each other for a short time, but I had grown to like and respect you. No, you we didn't. got on well and fought bravely side by side. I threw all that away for gold and skooma. Did you get the reward at least? No. Dupin was murdered by his sister before I made it back to his keep. Our deal died with him. Money is an evil like no other, my friend. It is only just that I die at your hand. Are you still hooked on Skooma? No, I am done with this stuff. I want to die with my senses intact. Kill me now. I am ready. No, you're no good to me dead. This is a cell. Come with me, fight by my side. I fight with you? The little eye animations are so well done. Yes, Ingo. Repay your debt with the blood of my foes. Or die defending you. Yes, I accept. I feel lighter in my heart now you have given me this opportunity. It will be like old times. Please, stop moving around in your shell like that. It's very distracting. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. Do not joke about such things, my friend. The sadness I feel for what I have done is brutal enough. For now. Oh! Is that your guitar? With arrows in it? Oh, ebony arrows! Nice. Okay, so we can discuss combat tactics, how close he's following us, if he can just stay here and chill out. And we have mods in our mod list that allow your follower just to chill out in chairs and stuff. You can ask about his past. You know what, let's leave What's the prison next? cell first. He's actually got a journal here too. Archery skill increased to 16. Damn it! I was min-maxing my character, but I need the law. Entry 1. Today I had to kill Felix with his own damn sword. Fool attacked me. He was planning to murder me for the last of the skooma. He did not ask, not inquire. He just burst into my room with a shriek and started slicing. Poor wretch had been clean for days. He got me in the leg before I could finish him. A little extra skooma will take the edge off the pain though. Selling the rest tomorrow. I'm done with the stuff. Entry 2. I'm missing Felix today. Shame I had to kill him. Could not find a buyer for the stuff, but I did meet a fancy man called Dupin at the docks earlier. Oh, so this is the journal of the events that happened before. Oh, I'm already loving this mod, and the story's been, like, massively fleshed out, it seems. I'm excited, because they've added, like, a quest to do with Ingo and his background as well. Inigo. 
Is that how I say his name? He said he has a job for me and that it's well paid. I'll be working with another mercenary. I hope whoever it is, he respects my property. I am to meet Dupan and my new partner next week in Skyrim. Always knew my destiny would bring me back there. Entry 3. I sometimes hear Felix talking to me even though I know he's dead. He blames me for killing him. I blame him for being a bloody schooner addict. Entry 4. He's back again, whispering from the shadows. You did not have to murder me, Ingo. Shut up. You should have just listened to me, Inigo. Stop haunting me. I was clean for days, Inigo. It is you who is the addict. Quiet. Please be quiet. I was going to kill you, Inigo. I was going to help you. No, you lie. You were a schooner head. You stole from me more than once to feed your habit, a habit we share. Entry 5. The schooner is all gone. It was the only thing keeping Felix quiet. I needed to get more before the big job. Am I an addict? Felix, leave me be. I am sorry. Entry 6. Lucky, lucky me. I found a dealer this morning before we met our new companion. It is good stuff, and I only had enough gold to buy a little, but it will have to do. Entry 7. My partner seems likely enough. We can certainly get the job done, that is for sure. We got into a bit of a scuffle with things and, well, I'm glad I was not the one of them. I think we'll make a good team. The air is fresh here, the land is very beautiful, and my new friend is off catching dinner. Felix has been quiet all day. Entry 8. We met with Dupin and his sister today. Yes, he had a sister, a very pretty lady indeed. It turns out that Dupin has two brothers as well. We are to track them down and kill them both. Dupin is the youngest, but feels he is more deserving of their father's inheritance. He says all they do is drink and fight, and dirty the family name. We are going to be paid very well for this. My companion wants to buy a house with a taking. All I can- I mean that's classic Skyrim player, isn't it? All I can think about is Skooma. Dupin says that if only one of us makes it back, the survivor will get the full reward. What a thing to say. Now we will be watching our backs when we should be protecting each other. Entry 9. We set off at dawn, heading north. We should get to the first keep in a few days. My partner and I shared many stories and even sung a little as we travelled. I think we are becoming friends. I used the last of the skooma today. Oh, what I would do to never have this worry and want again. Entry 10. Felix is back, but quieter than before. Maybe I can kick the habit this time. I have good company and gold on the way. We were attacked by a pack of ugly wolves this afternoon. My friend took care of most of them but I got two. I think we trust each other. What a powerful ally I have made. My hands have begun to shake a little, but I will suffer it. Hush now, Felix, hush. Entry 11. Brother one is no more. He is an evil piece of work, but stupid as a rock. He did not seem to notice that half of his men were dead until I put my dagger to his throat. We found a poor serving girl tied up in his bedchamber. We released her and the other servants before we burn the whole place down. As long as word doesn't reach the next brother, before we do, all will be well. I'm very sick. My new friend knows something is up. On the upside, Felix has been quiet all day. Entry 12. I've decided to go back to the schooner as soon as possible. It is only a problem when I don't have it. With my share of our reward, I will not have to worry about wanting it for 10 years, maybe more. My companion has grown less talkative. I am ill, but on my feet. Mood sways, sweats. I fear my friend is growing wary of me. I may wake up dead tomorrow. It may be a relief Felix is gone, I think. Entry 13. I was not killed in the night. My companion is packing up our camp. I am too weak. We are about to take on brother number two, but hardly a word passes between us. If only one of them returns, the reward is double. This is what my friend is thinking. I could not defend myself in this state. I must make the first move. I must make some distance between us and use my bow from cover. I am a wretch and a fool, but I will not die today. If I do this right, I will not have to worry about wanting for 12 years, maybe more, or 20 years, my goodness. So kind of understand Mr. his story. Mr. Dragonfly, say hello to my friend. Mr. Dragonfly is shy and frightened of almost everything. <laughs> Shall we take Mr. Dragonfly with us? Mr. Dragonfly's coming? We'll take him with us. Are you happy? Excuse me, my friend. Okay. Inigo the Brave. Wait, what is this? Oh my god, it's a multiple choice adventure. Okay, we'll play this at the end. I'm not going to read it now. A hunting bow, iron armor. Whoa, 600 arrows? 
It's coming with me. I hope that's not your chest, girl. Okay, we need to get you some armor, mate, because you butt naked. Follow me. Ah, uh, back into Skyrim. Don't you love it, Inigo? Why is everyone posing like this? I need to buy some armor. Greetings, honored friend. Could I oh no, no, I don't. I don't like your tone. Oh, I'm buying armor you from you. Can't you bother me at my armor stand in the market? Or are you that desperate for training? I wanted to buy some armor. Take a look. Oh, look, this is from the Brawlers DLC. This looks so cool. They're like Monster Hunter weaponry. You don't even have Come good armor. No, right Brynjolf, leave, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I can take a hint, lad. You want to make some coin? That is now a quest objective. Damn it. All right, guys, let's head out. There uh, seems to be a guard struggling with the bushes here. No matter, we will head past him. Who's this guy? So many new NPCs and citizens added onto the game. But we actually need to take someone out so Inigo has some new armor. And ideally I want to do that a bit off the beaten path. And so a half-dressed Inigo and ESO headed into the mountains to find Inigo some armor. Ah, uh, you're looking a bit cold. Any thoughts? I see you found Inigo the Brave. It's just a little thing I've been working on. It is probably rubbish. Oh, your book. Hand it over, and if we're relaxing somewhere safe, I'll read it to you if you want. Oh, wait, what? That's amazing. Here's your book back. If you need anything else, just ask. So I think we should really probably find you some armor. Let's go and take out these bandits, Ingo. Oh, wait, they're already dead? I must have been here before. Okay, I'll just give you armor. Look how happy he is. Let us get back to it. Yes, indeed. You are fully equipped now. You look amazing. Wait, who's this? He was just standing here the whole time? Who are you? Not now, traveler. Come back when you are ready. What? Myths of the 7,000 steps. He's like one of the greybeards then. Secret greybeard, huh? Where's he going? Maybe he killed the traveler. After following the White River north, the two companions found themselves in Whiterun. Inigo, I thought I'd take you back to Whiterun so I could show you my favorite pub. It is called The Bannered Mare. Come with me, we'll have a, a 2 p.m. drink. Come sit down, Inigo. Come and sit down, please. Sit down, Whatever Inigo. Whatever you say, it feels good to take a break. <sighs> it does indeed, doesn't it, Inigo? I've been looking forward to bringing you here. You know that loot in your cell that was full of arrows? I take it you prefer singing. Yes. I have never been very good, though. I enjoy writing songs, but sometimes it is more fun just making up words as I go along. Improvisation keeps the mind sharp and boredom at bay. Ah, that's true enough. Have I asked you to sing something while we're traveling? There's too much singing in this world already, if you ask me. No, let's ask him to sing some songs, that'll just be fun. Maybe, but nothing too serious. I would rather save my proper songs for the Bard's College. For now, anyway. Oh, I see. Why? Well, I know it's silly, but my songs are special to me. I would rather perform them in a special place. Ah, However, no. if you just want me to improvise something while we are traveling, maybe I can help you out. We will see. Oh, um, I, I, I thought I'd take you to my favorite pub, and, and now you say this isn't special enough for you. Fine, okay. Mind if I ask you something? Go ahead, ask away. Tell me about your past. My brother and I never knew our real parents. We were found abandoned in his smelly shack by a soldier on his way to battle. We melted his heart with our fuzzy little faces, and he carried us to the nearest town. He deposited us at an orphanage, and that is where we spent most of our childhood. I hope it wasn't on a whole orphanage. My brother and I were adopted by a couple of retired assassins. I guess the orphanage did not do a family background check. Tell me more about your past. I was bullied by the other Khajiit children because of my unusual color and markings. My mother showed me a handy trick with a rock and a glove. I was never bothered again. Okay, I want to hear more about that. My father showed my brother and I how to use a sword. My mother taught us the bow. Happy childhood memories. Ah uh, yes, happy childhood memories of combat training. I grew up in a Riverhold, not far from Cyrodiil. Oh yes. My brother and I headed for the Imperial City to find our fortune when we came of age. How I old found were you? love for a time at least. My brother found death. Jesus. Love? 
Let's hear about the death first. I will come to that soon. There is a little more to hear first. Oh, so you're enjoying the storytelling. Well, now that I think about it, maybe it was not love. It was brief and, as it turned out, one-sided. Anyway, all that happened later. How much was it? <laughs> My mother and father are both gone. They died protecting a trading caravan a few years back. I guess I am an orphan again. What were your parents like? I suppose they were a bit of an odd couple, being an Argonian and a Khajiit, but they adored each other. And us. Despite their previous profession, they were good people. I'm sorry for your loss, Sinigo. That means a great deal. Thank you. Tell me more about your past. My brother and I found much work as sellswords. We never made it to the Imperial City, but we made a lot of coin. What kind of jobs did you do with your parents raising you as assassins? A bit of giant killing here, a bit of witch slaying there. We took gold when it was offered, but sometimes we worked for nothing. It is hard to deny those in need whether they have coin or not. We made more than enough from those who could pay anyway. Oh wait, was his brother from the journal he was keeping? Where did your travels take you? All over Cyrodiil, from the Gold Coast to the Gerald Mountains. It is a wonderful land, but quite tame compared to Skyrim. Those were happy times, traveling or working during the day, camping out under the stars at night. Life was good. Oh, sounds like such a fun life. I awoke one morning to a lot of noise outside our tent. My brother staggered in, bleeding, and pushed our father's sword into my hand. He said that if I loved him, I would run. He used the last of his strength to rip out the back of the tent and push me down the slope beyond. Some Khajiit hating locals had blamed us for a spate of robberies in the area and had decided to take the matter into their own hands. Twelve of them had snuck up on us in the night. My brother died. But I live because of him. Jesus, I'm sorry. Losing your brother like that must have been terrible. Yes. That morning I lost all that was dear to me. Unfortunately, I also uncovered a side of myself I never knew existed. Do you ever wish you could have stayed and fought? Every day, my friend. Every day. What was your brother's name? His name was Fergus. I miss him very much, but part of me is glad he did not witness what became of me after his passing. To tell me more about that, losing him was bound to affect you. I'm sure he would have understood. Maybe you are right. It is a nice thought, but I suppose I will never know. I was recruited by a group of bandits a few years ago. That is when I discovered Skuma. It was the beginning of a lot of nastiness. I was with a bandit girl for a while. Turns out she was using me. She wanted protection, not affection. As soon as she found someone more psychopathic, I was dropped like a sack of troll dung. Oh boy. Did you love her? I thought I did. We dulled each other's pain somewhat. She seemed like the only bright thing in a very dark place. Regrettably, she was a vicious, manipulative harpy. Oh boy. What an I left the bandits and took the only ally I had with me. He was also an addict, but we thought we had it under control. His name was Felix. He was a big fellow, good in his scrap. We became mercenaries together. Ah, yes, I read about Felix in your journal that I stole from you. You know, so far I'm really enjoying the story of this mod. Inigo, like, compared to other RPG characters, he's very believable. The way he talks about his background and his story just seems very natural and the more you inquire the more he'll tell you if you ask him different questions he'll respond in different ways it's just very realistic and you don't get that a lot in roleplay games usually it's like very cookie cutter and i mean obviously part of his story is cookie cutter but the way it's told just seems like you know like we're in a pub having it's, it's very immersive and I'm interested, obviously after this conversation, when we're actually playing the game with this follower, how he sort of responds in the game compared to the vanilla followers, you know. 
Lydia is a great follower, I love her, but obviously Inigo is just like a massive character with over 7,000 lines of dialogue or something crazy, so obviously he's going to be more responsive to things going on in the world as we travel together. After a few months, Felix and I had made a little gold, but our addiction to Skuma was getting in the way. No one trusts an addict, my friend. Especially not another addict. Do you ever miss Skuma? You said you dropped it completely when I met you. From time to time my body does, but my mind is made up. I am never touching this stuff again. It helped me smother some painful memories, but it took my sense and reason as payment. It was not a fair trade. 3 out of 10 trade. Tell me about Felix. There is not much to tell. He never spoke about his past, but it was clear he had also been through a great deal before becoming a bandit. That life did not seem to suit him. He had been an educated man at some point, I am sure of it. Interesting. He was violent, but he had retained some dim vestige of honor. I wish we had met under different circumstances. One day, Felix burst into my chamber. Instinct took over and I reacted. His murder was my second to last step on the road of dishonor. Trying to kill you was my last. My journal tells the rest. Read it if you want. I do not enjoy speaking of these things. Already read it, mate. That is my story. Not a happy one, but maybe the happy stuff is still to come. My fur bristles when a thunderstorm is on the way. My favorite weapon is the bow. Oh, you stealth archer. Thanks for the chat, in you go. Man, this pub is pretty dead at 2 p.m. in the evening. Just one drunk dude walking around. Hmm. You're right, mate? Hmm. No? My god, you're smashed. I'll get us some drinks, Inigo. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? No, I'm just trying to buy a drink, woman. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Give me two ales. Need anything else? Just let me know. Uh, From okay. Squire to Squire. Jesus, you look sad, Inigo. What is on your mind? I was just sitting there for the taking. What? What is yours is mine. Here's some ale. Are you going to join me? Take a seat. Wait, Inigo, I've been gone five seconds and you already have someone with you. Oh, no, okay, sorry. Clearly, my game is not very good compared to yours, my friend. Oh, say yes, mom. Just a reminder. Who is this anyway? Need something? Damn, you're just straight out course, pretending mom. to eat now because she doesn't want to talk to me. Damn, Inigo got game, man. You need to take you around more often. Mr. Dragonfly says he would rather travel with me. It is not personal. He and I go way back. What? Okay. Uh, I'll give you. I hope this will be a mutually beneficial exchange. Uh, yeah, I guess. You just. All right, I'll give you back, Mr. Dragonfly. Here you go. The bannered mayor is nicer than most of its patrons. A family feud divides this town. Oh, you already know. Let us talk for a bit. Come on, sit down. Oh, you want me to sit down again? We just spoke that. Oh, look, the dragonfly is on his back. That's pretty cool. What is on your mind? Well, how do you think I'm doing, Ingo? You want a performance review? Okay. <laughs> Take your time. Give me the short version. Okay, you are proving good for Skyrim. There are still many matters that need your attention, but there is no denying, you are pretty fantastic. You asked for my opinion and now you have it. I hope you did not mind my honesty. I'm fantastic, I mean, that's, that's, whoa, what was that? Jesus, that lady smashed, Ingo. What did you give her? All right, Ingo, let's go. You lead, I follow. Oh, cool. So you just carry around Mr. Dragonfly everywhere you go? Did you hear that? I thought I heard howling. Oh, that's such a cool reference that he said that, because the Companions Guild is literally just over here. So apparently to continue Inigo's quest, we first need to adventure around Skyrim together. Now we know his full backstory and at some point he's going to want to tell us a little bit more about himself. So we're going to head to the Bannered Mare and we're going to get some quests. I enjoy this work well enough. Anyway, what do you need? 
I'm looking for work. Got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. A bounty letter? The Silent Moon's camp? Okay. Need anything else? Let's have a look at this. Bounty by the order of Balrogriff the Greater. To all able-bodied men and women of White Run, the bandits located in Silent Moon's camp have been harassing, robbing, and attacking citizens and visitors. A reward will be offered to anyone who kills their leader. So we only need to kill Just their let leader. Me know. Past, present, and future. You're right, mate. What are these but points? That was deep. I felt like this man could give me a real quest. Uh, another curious mind, is it? Come to Argus to find the answers to all life's riddles. I'm just wondering why you're at the bar. Why does any man seek the comforts of a bottle? Because he's a fool who believes in the lies it spins. So, what is it you want to know? The answer to life's most difficult questions, or perhaps its most fundamental ones. They say I knew them all, but well, the truth is, no one does. No one knows what the next life holds. No one knows how to make love stay. Do we follow him? <laughs> What's happening right now? Hello? Excuse me. He's busy. What? You again? Why can't you people leave me alone? I'm no longer a scribe. Forgive me, I don't know you or your reputation. Ah, my mistake then. Sometimes the older you are, the more you assume. Oh, you think you know all the answers, so you close your eyes and walk the world blind. So, someone of notes you once were. Yes. I was once the court scryer for the Arm of Marco. Why are you no longer a scryer? Because for all my visions and supposed wisdom, I failed to see my daughter joining the Forsworn Rebels. That's Despite disgusting. all my fame and respect, I never saw the strain it would put on my marriage. When was the last time you spoke to your daughter or wife then? I... I don't know. I can't even tell you if they're alive. All my visions have gone dark. Yeah, they're probably dead. You can search the Reach with me. We may find your daughter. I could. But I fear such a confrontation could result in her death. Still, the thought is tempting. Follow me. You're a persistent one, aren't you? Ah, very well. Perhaps it is time I embrace the unknown. We've stopped. Is there a problem? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh... Alright, Inigo, looks like we have recruited some extra help at the pub. He doesn't look like much, but apparently he's a powerful fortune tower. Let's go to Silent Moon's camp. Look at that new Morlag bow loading screen. My goodness, it looks good, doesn't it? You can actually see High Throfgar from here, and that is the great city of Whiterun. And we're here right outside Silent Moon camp. I'm not so sure the best way to approach this with my team, but I'm pretty sure we can take them unaware. It is 7 a.m. in the morning. We should be able to just walk right up to them and take them down. I'm going to take an elixir of resist magic though because I hear there's some pretty powerful mages here. We have company. Oh god, don't worry, I will protect you. Take them out in a go. Ha! Ah. We've defeated one of them in a go, but there are many more. Attack! Do not hit my new friend! Oh my god, he's so powerful! Jesus, you killed her in one hit? What kind of a monster are you? Pretty good for you, Inigo. Follow behind me, Inigo. I will protect you from this dangerous mage. Do not fear. My resist magic potion will protect us against their shields and arrows. Follow me! Die! Ah. Jesus! He's half naked, don't worry, I will finish him. 
die. Inigo's taking him out with his archery skills. A supreme hunter. Don't worry, I'll finish this last one off. Ah. We're not going to look down, otherwise the video will get demonetized. Inigo, we did it. They're dead. Inside this ancient Nordic ruin, we have the Silent Moon's Weapon Crafter. You can also find the lunar weapons that do extra damage to undead and the notes on the lunar forge that explains how that works. Ooh, a scroll of harmony. Very nice. What is it? Why are you so angry? Do you want to go and find your daughter? Should we go to the Reach? But where is the leader at Silent Moon's camp? I think we might have to head inside the ruin itself to find him. I guess the real danger will be if it... Oh! You have found me. Yes, what are you going to do? Like oh, Jesus. From Goodness you. me. Who's that attacking you from behind? Oh my god, you're strong. Die! Whoa, look at that! Die! Come on, let's get in the open space here. I'll take out the archer. Die! Take a potion of healing so we don't die here. I really need my followers to help me. This isn't going well. Okay, Inigo's got one of them. Fantastic. What do you mean? I put myself in Nord. You're a traitorous bandit. Go on, let's kill him, mage. You are on fire, yes. Burn, you traitor. Die. God, she's strong as well. Okay, we finally destroyed. How are you still alive? Okay, that was the bandit leader. No wonder she was so powerful. She had an elven dagger. That's pretty good. What else is down here? An exit. Oh my god, look at that new lock. Wow, beautiful. Oh my god. What is in this final room? A real treasure trove of potions. Lunar steel war axe as well. Very nice. Take that with us on our adventure in case we come up against any undead in the reach as we try to find this man's daughter. Oh, is that glass sword? Nice. And let's go back into Skyrim. Oh, look, there's another secret area we found here with a chest. A glass warhammer. My god. I have this staff of flames. There you go. And we have. Get away from me. Team. Well done. Next, we must claim the bounty and then buy you some skooma as a reward, Inigo. Come, Inigo, let me show you the wonders of Dragon's Reach. And we can claim our bounty. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can assist you. Yes, I killed the leader at the Silent Moon's camp. I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. A hundred gold. Dude. Think very carefully about your next move. Oh, Irilaf, I will. And so our three unexpected adventurers have prevailed in claiming their first bounty. But next episode, we'll be trying to find this old man's daughter and seeing what became of her in the area of Forsworn. I'll link that episode over here and I will see you guys there. Have a fantastic evening and goodbye. Oh damn, it looks like Farangar has some LEDs in his office now. Look at this. Farangar's LED game is mental. Wow.